Well, the foregoing, of course, referred to the most popular legitimately rented videos. God knows what the list of the top ten pirate videos looks like, but it probably includes Reservoir Dogs and Natural Born Killers and various other movies not yet available on tape to honest customers. You obviously would never buy a pirated video, would you? Well, actually, one or two of you look as if you might, and if you did, pay attention, because you may indirectly have been supporting the drugs trade and child pornography. Video piracy costs the legitimate video industry more than £250 million a year in lost revenue. Some of the country's 7,000 weekly markets and car boot sales have paid host to what's becoming one of Britain's biggest black economies. It is a vast, organised criminal activity which has swept the country for the last 10 years and which we hope we are coming to grips with now. This way. Our production team went undercover with the Federation Against Copyright and Theft to see how easily banned or illegal videos can be bought at a local market. OK, so what are they selling here? They've got natural born killers, reservoir dogs, Pulp Fiction, The Exorcist, um, none of which are released on video, and they're probably illegal. What am I doing for you? That one, please. The general understanding of video piracy is a way of getting a cheap video and it doesn't really matter if we're doing these multi-million pound international film companies, doing them out of a few bob. I think that's the general perception. But what they don't know is that they are helping to fund organised crime, drugs rackets, paedophile rings, pornography, the sorts of things that if they realised where their money was going to, would really put a stop to it. Good morning, how can I help you? Reg Dixon heads the Federation Copy Against Copyright, Copyright and Theft, funded by the film industry to combat the video pirates. Video piracy is strongly connected to counterfeit currency and drugs. It's a way of laundering the money uh, obtained from those various offences and a very easy way to launder it. After all, the offences for video piracy are far less the than the offences of cannabis currency and drugs. The problem thereby lies is when parents do buy their children uh, videos at car boot sales and markets, which are the main venues where this property is got rid of, they face the danger of that money that they're paying being laundered back into drugs. Okay. The stallholder may be far removed from organised crime, but the quality of the videos he's selling is often seriously substandard. It's pretty good, but the guy that, I've, that we do trade these with is going to get a, a brand new one in the week anyway, so if you're unhappy with it, okay. don't, you won't Bring get back. the same one back, you'll get a different one. All right, great. Thanks very much. Yeah. Our bought copy of Natural Born Killers was a video pirate and was very poor quality. Stars are coming out. Look up in the brand. We also compared a pirate copy of The Mask, recorded off a cinema screen, with a legitimate video. Do you? Punks. The quality of the videos that the pirates turn out is uh, quite abysmal, actually. We have films where you can see the usherette moving along the aisle because they're using a camcorder. We have films where you see people getting up to leave the cinema and going past the person actually filming the screen. We have no sound, fuzziness. A pirate will over-record on an existing film. He will put on something like a cartoon over the top of it. And we have many, many instances whereby they've taken those films home, the children watch them thinking they're watching a cartoon, and what happens is the cartoon finishes and you have hardcore porn coming on. Fact investigators and undercover police officers went in to question our stallholder about the sale of illegal videos. From the Kentstown Police Station. Okay. And I'm from the Federation Against Copyright Theft and I work on behalf of the film companies. And you're selling films such as Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, that are not released on video format in the UK for sale or hire. They are offences. Now, we can do this two ways. Either you can be arrested for that and taken to Kentish Town Police Station, or I can ask you some questions here. 
I have to tell you, it's an offence to make, distribute, sell or hire infringing copies of copyright works. Do you understand that? OK. It could be fined anything from £500 to £2,000, although the actual maximum a court could impose could be £5,000. The judiciary have got to come to terms with the fact that this is not a cottage industry. This is not a man with two machines in a, in a room just making a few bob. This is large scale, tremendous money being made. A hundred machines working will make £56,000 a week pure profit for the public. My advice to the public is this. If you have any moral sense at all or duty to children, you do not buy pirate tapes. You are funding drugs. You are funding counterfeit money. You're funding organised crime. So there you are. The warning is clear. Stick to legitimate video.